Welcome to part 5 of the tutorial. This one is about the built-in character sets of the Atari. Uh, I went turned back the code uh, to the way it looked like in the text section uh, tutorial. So it's a simple loop that loops from 0 to FF and pokes the values of the counter into the first 265 bytes of the screen RAM. Let's look how they look like. Okay, here they are. You can see there are 128 characters, then they are repeated with a bit pattern inverse. This is a built-in mechanism in the video chip, there are, so there are actually only 128 different characters. The rest looks the same, but inverse. Um, what you can see from the sequence is that the first character, 0, is the space, the empty character. This is reasonable, because clearing the screen with zero then makes it empty. Then the exclamation mark and so on, followed by numbers and special characters. Uh, number th character 32 is the add sign and 33 is the uh, capital A. Then you have the regular alphabet, followed by the control or graphics characters. And then starting at uh, 96, you have a, you know, a small square and 97 the lowercase letters. Uh, if you compare this to the regular ASCII character uh, sequence, you will find that this is not completely the same. The lowercase characters are in the same position, but in fact in the ASCII uh, standard all these graphics characters come first. That means the sequence here is not the ASCII sequence, and that is important if we want to bring something on the screen. So let's change uh, this in the way that we copy now some text. And I define a data section, which I prefer to do with uh, locals. And uh, the, the reason is that you get some nice, um, if you have labels in here, my text, um, you get some nice indentation and navigation in here. Okay, so we define now some ASCII text. Well, it's interchange. And let's see how this looks like if we poke this directly onto the screen. And obviously this is barely readable due to what I told before that the sequence in the character set and in the screen RAM is not the ASCII sequence. Uh, now there are two ways uh, for solving this problem. First is you can add some code to actually convert this. Maybe I do this first. So I compare it with 1969 and I say if it's carry a set then it is a lowercase character and we don't have something to change. So lowercase characters remain unchanged. Maybe I just show it, it doesn't do anything different. But as you can see, the lowercase characters, but not the space, are showing up properly. So what else do we have to do? We have to actually um, subtract 32. And of course we have to subtract it without a carry. So this is a subtraction and to not have a carry we have to set it. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, as we can see, everything shows up properly. Well, these strange characters behind that, they are not converted appropriately, but this is clear because they are zero. Yeah, I, this text ends. If I add another text and I pad it with spaces, then the spaces will be converted properly. But of course, where there is zero, now the computation yields some graphics character. Okay, that's the complicated way of doing it. Um, there is a far more easy way to do it, and that is simply telling the compiler that what we want to do is not ASCII, but ATASCII. That's the Atari term for it. And to do that in maths, you'd simply change the type of the quote. So instead of a single quote, you use a double quote, and it shows up properly. Yeah, and now spaces are zero anyway, and everything looks fine. 
So for the next part I bring back all the characters on the screen. And let's look at this memory location here where I told you that the character set is. This is E000 in the start of the um, in the start of the operating system, or the second part of the operating system. We can have a look at the memory there. We see there's a regular pattern. This is the character set. And there is a pointer that tells the video chip where this character set is uh, located. And that is in 2F4. This, uh, this memory address, it has a name. It's simply called CH. And we have our character set, which is at E000. So if we do the following, if we load the accumulator with the high byte of that address and we store it here, yeah, then it, uh, well, it looks the same it did before because this is the standard character set. We are just still using the same, um, just using the same character set, but now by changing the base address of this character set, I can, for example, choose the built-in international character set. And you now see the control characters, the graphics characters, they have gone. And they sh now it, what shows up is a number of yeah, French, German and other uh, languages, special characters. This was a specialty of the Atari that was sold in many different countries and from the very beginning was also intended for educational purposes so you needed these characters in educational software. What you can also do is can, you can now put it to for example the zero page yeah, and see some nice bit pattern moving all the counters in the zero page and I press a key and I see what happens. Uh, and this is what we will use, la use later on to actually redefine characters in the next section.